How much money should the CEO of a big company make? There has been a lot of debate around this question because executive pay has been rising for decades. Many countries have tried changing the tax laws to address this issue, but does that even work? That's what we try to find out in our research at BU. I'm Mariana Seiler. I'm a guest researcher at the Management Accounting and Control Group at VU. And my name is Tobias Bornemann. I'm an assistant professor at VU's International Accounting Group. The economy has its ups and downs, but it seems that executive pay knows only one direction. Straight up. The American Economic Policy Institute has calculated that in 1965 CEOs earned about 20 times more than the average worker. By 1989, this ratio had risen to about 60 to 1. In the most recent report from 2021, the compensation ratio was actually 400 to 1. Is a CEO's work really 400 times more valuable than that of any average worker? Many people would probably disagree. Of course, these numbers fuel the public debate about income inequality and also attract the attention of regulators. There have been many attempts to regulate executive pay. One way to try to do this is through the tax system. In Austria, a new law was passed in 2014. Since then, any compensation that exceeds 500,000 euros per employee is no longer tax deductible. If you are not sure what that means, we will explain it to you. Let's say you're the CEO of an Austrian company and you make 600,000 euros per year. Before 2014, your company was able to write this whole amount off against its tax bill, which means that the company was able to lower its tax burden by giving you more money. After the passing of the new law, the company can now only write off 500,000 euros and it has to pay taxes on the remaining 100,000 euros. This means that hiring you as a CEO becomes more expensive for the company. We asked ourselves, are these taxes passed on to the manager in the form of lower compensation growth or do the shareholders bear the additional cost? This change in legislation was a great opportunity for us to investigate this question. Together with Martin Jakob from IESE Barcelona, we collected data on executive compensation for all Austrian firms from 2012 to 2019. Then we compared managers' pay growth in Austria to their peers in Germany where the law hadn't been changed. So these are the results. It turned out that, on average, the Austrian tax reform didn't even put a dent in pay growth. Compared to their peers in German firms, managers in Austria did not experience a slowdown in income. There's a potential explanation for this finding. Maybe executives have so much bargaining power that they can avoid losing out on their pay raises. But not all executives have equal bargaining power. If you're, let's say, the CEO of a very profitable company, you have a better bargaining position than the CEO of a company that is close to failure. Also, if a firm has very strong corporate governance, convincing the board of directors to raise your compensation might be harder. This also translates to less bargaining power. That's why we try to separate managers with high bargaining power from those with low bargaining power to look at them separately. And there we saw that the tax reform actually worked, but only for executives with low bargaining power and those who worked in firms with strong governance. These executives did experience a decline in pay growth. It seems that limiting the tax deductibility of executive pay doesn't affect compensation at least for most executives working at Austrian firms. That's what our findings suggest. Executive pay has been a hotly debated topic for years, and it probably will be for longer. We as a society have to find more effective ways to regulate executive compensation. The key lies in striking a balance between state intervention and setting the right incentives. This is something that should be discussed widely. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Okay, <lacht> wir müssen hier entscheiden, Leute. Ich mach mal so, wie ich machen würde. Das ist die beste.